Straight to it, man. Ja, Ja, come on, Ja. Come on, Ja. Hey, I wish one of his ops just shoot this nigga right now, man. I'm, I'm being honest, man. <laughs> I just wish one of John ja Morant's ops shoot this nigga so he can finally let that thing go. So he can finally let that banger go. Because clearly, he keeps showing it because he want to let it fly. So whoever his ops is, come on, man. Go run up on him, man. See if he going to use it. Go pull up on him. See if he going to use it. Because that's the thing everybody tell you. You don't post a pull no burner, no gun, no stick, no ratch, no glizzy, no blicky. You don't supposed to pull it unless you're going to use it. Period, Ja. Fuck the money. He rich. He going to keep being rich. Listen, clearly he doesn't care about losing money. I mean, and when you 200 million in, everybody that's that rich lose money somehow, some way. So clearly he does not care about the money. He might just be thugging. But if he thugging, and for me to believe him, he got to let that thing go. So, John Moran Ops, run up on him, man. Run up on him. Run up on him. I want to see if he going to let it fly. Because I'm tired of you showing it. All right, that's cool. I'm not getting on you about losing no money and getting out of the NBA. Your money was guaranteed you'll be rich forever. If you never play another possession for the Memphis Grizzlies, you're going to be rich forever. But once again, you keep showing that gun, so I want to see you let it off. Not in no range, nothing. I want to see if you're going to let it fly. And I hope y'all got more than one gun. Because these little niggas out here, listen. <laughs> I don't know if Ja really been following Instagram pages or on the internet. And these niggas got a hundred guns. They got a hundred guns, a hundred clips. They got all these kids from the hood. They letting it fly. So you better have more than just that little goddamn 9mm Glock. And they shit's got switches. So you better be able to shoot it. Because they, they... They Glocks go... And from the looks of things, you don't got to switch on the back of your gun. So listen, man. I, <clears throat> and on a serious note, I've coached high school kids for years. Uh, coached college kids too. Coached girls college. Uh, basketball for eight years so I know there's just certain kids you can't reach some kids really gotta experience bullshit before they listen it's a few kids that I know had all the talent in the world track athlete in the football I ain't gonna say their names supported them Gave them knowledge. You know, they say, oh, Ja don't got no big homie. Ain't nobody around him. Yeah. These two athletes I had, I was in their ears. They had bigger cousins. They had bigger brothers. Told them, look, man, this ain't for you. This ain't the life you want to live. Guess what? One of them locked up. One of them got shot. He's still alive. Thank, thank the God. But these kids don't fucking learn until something really happens. So y'all can talk to your faces blue to John Morant. Trust me, he don't give a fuck. His life is going to change when something drastic happens. I've been around athletes my whole year. Some of them in their head just really want to be tough guys. Whether they come from it, whether they don't, and yes, the music is influential on them. So if you really want to stop all these athletes and these kids making money, doing dumb shit, listen, change the music. Because I'm going to tell you, I already know. John Morant was probably like this for a long time. Niggas just let him slide. That's what they do with the best athletes. Best athletes everywhere from rec league, little league, 
high school, middle school can do what the fuck they want because it's maybe a 5% of coaches that's going to hold them accountable because they don't give a fuck about winning or losing. And anybody that know anything about Coach E, I'm one of them. I don't care about winning or losing. My resume been my resume. You're going to either do the right thing or you ain't on my fucking team. But trust me, y'all can keep talking to John Morant all you want to. He does not care. I see these little niggas every day. Athletes I used to coach, I see them now in their 20s like, damn, when you start banging. Like I seen some of these kids getting altercations and not squabble. And now they got flags and guns. And weird-ass captions. Trust me, <clears throat> that's everywhere in our community. That's everywhere now. Let's be real. John Morant is everywhere in our community now. Kids don't want to do the right thing. It's rare that kids just want to do sports. Just want to go to school. They bring that thug shit to colleges now. Go to go to these campuses. It's niggas in their dorm room with blickies. Why? You're in college. And if you doing something that you need a gun in college, you should stop doing it. If you going somewhere where you need a gun, you don't need to go. But it's John ja Moran every fucking where now, man. All these young kids, I, I'm telling you. And I also still blame these coaches. Go to a fucking rec league football game and every song that they playing is some wild ass shit. Coaches letting them cuss, wild out. I wish my nephew would. I, I wish, I got a 10 year old, I wish I would hear him listen to NBA young boy. Smacking the shit out of him. And I'm throwing his tablet or whatever he listens to it on the ground. Nigga, you better put on some Bruno Mars. So John Moran ain't going to be the last one. But like I said, these high school coaches know. It's a bunch of them in high school now. A lot of them ain't going to make it. But y'all high school coaches got to hold them accountable now. So when they get 23, they're already in the discipline. They already in the habit by doing the right thing. And I ain't saying you can't own a gun. But when you John Morant, you don't need a gun. Because if you going somewhere that you need a gun, you shouldn't go. If you need to go going from your crib to the facility to practice, get security. If you want to go to the... Don't, don't go to clubs. Why are you in the strip club? Just bring the hoes to you. So, Yeah. I don't get it, but listen, I see it every day. I'm in these, I'm in the communities I've been coaching at, at a black school my whole life. These kids want to be gangsters. Listen, I'm, I coach at a goddamn on private school now. You should see them. They could be wanting to fight and do a whole bunch of dumb shit, talking crazy. So. Yeah, but enough on that. I 